Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. Continuing on with our series in, in programming in C++, what I would like to do now is have a short explanation of uh, uh, identifiers and uh, uh, declaration of uh, types, integer types, uh, floating points, uh, characters, that sort of thing. First of all, an identifier, and we'll go over here to our C++ code here. Uh, we'll put a little comment and uh, identifier. Uh, is uh, any uh, declaration um, uh, variable constant function any name that we give the uh, something in the program that we created okay there's a few rules okay it cannot be a uh, reserved word okay you know there's several reserved words like the word if uh, return main, int, uh, they can be used as identifiers. I'm going to start with a letter, okay, uh, upper or lower case, doesn't matter, or an uh, underscore. It cannot start with a number, it cannot. So let's just start here. I'm going to declare an integer. It's a simple type. And I'm going to say int. And I'm going to give it a name. And I'm, uh, most of the time, we uh, variables we give lowercase. OK. So there I have declared count. Now this is an integer I can use anywhere in the program. I can store a number in it, change it, add some numbers to it, put it there, print it out, read it in. I can do any number of things. Now right now, it doesn't have any useful value in it. But I can initialize it. I can say equal to zero. So I can give it an initial value. And this is always a good thing to do, is to initialize your variables. Okay. To make it something I can't change, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's give another one here. Let's say uh, constant int uh, x number equal 100. Okay. Now here what I've done is I've declared an integer. I call it max number. You notice I've given it all uppercase, but I put the word constant in front of it. By putting the word constant in front of it, uh, I can't change it. So if I were to try to do this, if I were to try to say max number equal 101, okay, and hit enter, you'll notice that you get a little red squiggly line out of there. And the compiler's telling you, say, hey, wait a minute, uh, that's a constant. You can't change it. It's put on the left side of an equal sign. So that's something you can't do. Well, let's say that I wanted to declare several of them in the same line. So let's say uh, um, uh, x uh, equals 0, y equals 0. I put several of them like that. That's integer. I can do the same thing with floating point numbers. Uh, most of the time we use double, uh, double j and k. We use simple lines like that, and we can rationalize them to uh, 0.0. .0. The other simple types that we have are character, which holds a single character, um, and option, and we can initialize that to uh, blank. Now you'll notice that I use single quotes here. Uh, there are single quotes and there are double quotes. Okay, double quotes look like this. Okay. Uh, double quotes are for strings, more than one character. Single quotes are for character, single characters themselves. And there is a difference, and you must remember that. Well, the other type that we're going to talk about just right now is uh, Boolean. Okay, and it's a bool, B-O-O-L, and it stands for Boolean. Boolean is a uh, TF, uh, and you can say is equal to uh, true. Okay, now you'll notice that uh, true is actually a reserved word. True meaning a positive one, uh, false meaning uh, zero. So you can actually assign something to either value of something as true or something as false. We'll get into booleans a little bit later on. So this is uh, your introduction to um, uh, names, naming conventions in um, uh, C++ uh, identifiers and de declaration of simple types. We'll get into scoping rules. Uh, later on in the course.